3.2 Logarithmic Functions Relating Logarithmic and Exponential Forms Logarithmic form. We have log base b of x equals y. b is the base and logs always equal the exponent. So if we have log form, we should be able to put log form into exponential form where b is the base, so b is the base right here, y is the exponent, so we put y as the exponent, and then this equals what's left over, which is x. In letter A, we're asked to evaluate log base 2 of 16. We could have log base 2 of 16 is equal to some value. Now we're asked for the exponent. So 2 to the exponent is equal to 16. Well, 2 to the fourth is 16, so x must be equal to 4. Evaluate log base 5 of 1 over 125. Now that's equal to some number. So we can change this to exponential form. We can write 5 to some value is equal to 1 over 125. Well, 5 to the third is equal to 125. So 5 to the negative third is equal to 1 over 125. So the x in this case is equal to negative 3. 3 to some number is equal to 1 over 27. Well, 3 to the third is 27. So 3 to the negative third is equal to 1 over 27. So in this case, this thing evaluates to negative 3. 17 to some power is equal to 17. Well, that's 17 to the first power. Basic properties of logarithms. Log base b of 1 is 0 because anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. b to the first is b, so log base b of b is 1. b to the first is equal to b. Log base b of b to the x, these just kind of cancel out and you just get x. Because b raised to the x is equal to b to the x. And then likewise, if you have a base here and the base on the log is the same, these cancel out and you're just left with x. Evaluate log base 8 of 512. We can write this as log base 8 of 8 to the third. 512 is 8 to the third. Since this base is 8 and this base is 8, this evaluates to just a value of 3. Now over on B, since this base is 22 and this base is 22, these cancel out and we get 15.2. On this one, since both of the bases are 7, this evaluates to a value of 4. If x is a real number, then the following statements are true log of 1 is 0. Now we have base 10 here. This is called the common log. So if the, lo if the base isn't written, it's 10. So 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 to the x is 10 to the x. And if both bases are 10, they cancel out. It's just x. So we're asked to evaluate log base 10 of 10,000. That's ha like having log base 10 of 10 to the 4th. So this evaluates to just a value of 4. Evaluate 10 log 12. Both the bases are 10, even though it's not written. So this one is 12. We are asked to evaluate log of 14. Well, our calculator does two types of logs, common log and natural log. So if we want the log of 14, we just hit log 14, and that is equal to 1.146. 1 1.146. If we want log of negative 11, our calculator is going to tell us that can't be done. Non-real answer. You can't raise 10 to a power and get a negative answer. So evaluating the log of a negative just doesn't make sense. There's no solution to this. Evaluate log of 0 0.092. We have log of 0 0.092, whoops, uh, let me quit this, clear this, log of 0 0.092, and that is equal to negative 1.036. You can have negative answers for logs, 
but you can't take the log of a negative number. It just doesn't make sense. Basic properties of natural logs. If x is a real number, then the following statements are true. e to the 0 is 1. Natural log is log base e. e to the 1 is e. These cancel out because we have both bases are e. And then both bases are he, e here, so these cancel out to x. Evaluate natural log of e to the 4.6. Since both of the bases are e, these will just cancel out, and the answer for this one is 4.6. On letter B, evaluate natural log of negative 1.2. It doesn't make any sense to evaluate the log of a negative number. So this one is no solution. Letter C, evaluate E to the natural log of 4. Both of the bases are E. Those cancel out. And we have an answer of 4. Evaluate natural log of 7. Your calculator does common log and it does natural log. So we have the natural log of 7 and that is equal to 1.946. Evaluate natural log of e to the 5.2, that is 5.2. Sketch and analyze the graph of f of x equals log base 2 of x. The tricky part about this one is you have to uh, pick powers of 2 for the x. That way the y is going to be the exponent. So this is equal to y. So we have 2 to the y equals x. We want to pick powers of 2 for the x. So let's start with 1. 2 to the 0 is 1. Then we have 2, and 2 to the 1st is 2. Then we have 4, 2. Then 8 is 3, and 16 is 4. So we have 1, 0. 1, 0 right here. And then we have 2, 1. Then it goes to 1, 2, 3, 4 is a power of 2. Uh, then we go to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that is 3. But then we can go the other way with it and say, well, uh, 1 half is a power of 2. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. We have 1 half is negative 1. Then we can have 1 fourth. That's a power of negative 2. So 1 fourth is down to negative 2. And we see we have this asymptote right here at uh, the y-axis, at x equals 0. And then this function increases forever, but very slowly. We have this asymptote right here uh, along the y-axis. The domain is from 0 to infinity. The range is negative infinity to infinity. This will go down forever, and it'll go up forever, but it goes up very slowly. There is an x-intercept at 1, 0. There's an asymptote at y, not y equals, but x equals 0. And we have n behavior to the right. We have limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to infinity. And this function increases on its entire domain from 0 to infinity, and it never decreases. Sketch and analyze the graph of g of x equals log base 1 third of x. Let's set up an xy chart for this. We have x, y, and let's pick powers of 1 third. So we have 1 third is 1. 1 third to the first power is 1 third. And then we could have 1 ninth, that would be 1 third squared. And we could have 1 over 27, which is 1 third to the third power. Let's, uh, let's graph those. We have uh, 1 third is 1. Then we have 1 ninth is 2, 1 27th is 3, so we're getting closer and closer to 0. So we have x equals 0 for an asymptote again. Uh, if we plug 1 in for x, anything to the 0 power is 1, so we have the point 1, 0. And then 3 would be negative 1. 1 third to the negative 1 would bring that 3 up to the numerator, and we'd have 3. So we have 3, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, negative 1. We have 9 is negative 2, so all the way out to 9 gives you the negative 2. So the graph follows this asymptote, then goes through this point, and will go down forever, but it'll go down very slowly. The domain is 0 to infinity. The range is negative infinity to infinity. 
we do have an intercept at 1, 0, and we have an asymptote at x equals 0. The end behavior is limit as x approaches infinity of the function is negative infinity, and this function decreases on its entire domain, 0 to infinity.